Good morning, everybody. So, I have run out of my sugar scrubs. I usually use sugar scrubs when I'm bathing. And um, I thought about maybe making some sugar scrubs on my own, but I decided that I'm going to try making some sugar scrub bars. So that's what we're doing in today's video. So as I was saying, I, I really do like sugar scrubs a lot. It helps with just exfoliating my skin, but I don't like how messy <laughs> the, the scrubs that are in the jars are. So I had this awesome idea to look for a recipe online to make sugar scrub bars, like in a hard bar. So that's what we're gonna do. So I bought some colors here to color the mixture. But to start, I think we're gonna make two different ones. Um, we're gonna make lemon, I think. And I was asking my daughter, because my daughter uses sugar scrub too, and she would like lavender. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I bought these really cute molds at Michael's. They got like little leaves and stuff on them. They're really cute. So we're gonna use those. I have some lemon and lavender essential oil. And I bought shea butter soap base. So we're gonna start with, I think, the lemon. So I'm gonna put some actual lemon zest in this recipe. Um, I do have a recipe for this. And it does say I can use lemon. So I'm gonna zest this lemon first, just so I can stick a little bit of it in it. I like really citrusy scents, so <laughs> makes me feel clean and fresh. My daughter loves lavender. If you do wanna follow this recipe, I will try to type it out in the description box. Um, or I'll try to find a link to it. This is a recipe I found on Pinterest, so I might actually be able to find the link to it. And I'll post that for you guys. I was super excited to film this video. I've been waiting for this. I've been out of sugar scrub for quite a while. Okay, I think that's good. So this recipe, it says it makes four bars, but it doesn't say how big the bars are. So for now, I'm gonna one times the recipe just to see how much it makes. And then if I need to make more later, I will. <laughs> so let's do this. So I need a microwavable bowl. Cause this all gets put in the microwave. I thought it went on the stove, but it doesn't. It's microwave. So let me see how to open this. I just bought this. I bought this from Michael's. I think it cost $28 Canadian. And ha with how much I'm gonna get out of this, I think that's actually a pretty good deal. The molds weren't that much. I think they were $10. And I already had the coconut oil from, from making some of the salves that we made last year. Okay, so in the recipe, it says I need half a cup of shea butter soap base. I think I'm gonna use, it says to cut it in cubes, but this one came in a big tub. So I think I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop. <laughs> Hopefully that works. So about half a cup. Ooh, that's kind of hard. Just like ice cream. <laughs> I thought this was a really fun idea and it's something I've been thinking about doing for a really long time. So today's the day. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a lot of really fun projects soon. So, I'm excited about that. I have another project planned soon that I think you guys will like. Okay, if that was flattened, I think that would be close to half a cup. Okay, let's put that over to the side. And then we need a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. I 
think the coconut oil probably adds the moisture. That's just a guess though. If you're allergic to coconut, I would use a different kind of oil. I know there are lots of people that are allergic. Okay, in the recipe it says to melt this in the microwave, in a microwave safe bowl, uh, 30, sec 30 second increments until it's melted. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. Oof, that's hot. Okay, so it's just a little piece here that's left. Okay, so in the recipe it says this is where you would add the lemon zest. Ooh, that smells so good. <laughs> it smells really fresh. We're gonna add one drop of yellow dye just to see how much that does. We'll add more in a bit here if it needs it. I don't want it to be too yellow. I don't want to get dyed while I'm... Well, that, I think that's a perfect color, actually. It's like a pale, pale yellow. And then in the recipe here, it says to add your essential oil. It says to add the sugar last um, to make sure because it, it hardens up pretty quickly after you add the sugar. Okay, so it says 10 to 20 drops, but I'm assuming this would be more to your, your style, I guess, of how much you like. One thing I've noticed with essential oil is sometimes it takes quite a bit. Smells good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. See if that's enough. Yeah, I think with the lemon zest, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to get my mold ready here just so we can do it quickly. And it says to add one cup of granulated sugar to this. So let's do that. It says to have your mold ready because it does start to harden pretty quickly. I don't know if this is gonna make as much as I thought, but we'll see. So I'm just mixing it. Looks like that. It's a lot more liquidy than I expected. That's good. Okay, and then we just pour it into our base. I think I'm gonna get a scoop for this. These little scoops for uh, uh, rice. <laughs> this smells so good. It smells so fresh and that's what I was going for. Okay, it's starting to set up, so I'm gonna pour it in. Try and make sure I get it all in the corners. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for so long. Yeah, I don't think this is going to make as much as I thought, so I might need to do a little more, but we'll see. Doing this a little messily. It's starting to hard up pretty quickly. It does say once we get these uh, potted, well, poured, um, to let them set for two hours one to two hours, but I'm gonna let them set for two. I want to make sure they're nice and set. Okay, I'm gonna push them down. Make sure it fills in all the holes. Yes, this is setting super fast. <laughs> I think this would make fabulous Christmas presents. We might make this for Christmas presents this year. We'll see. Okay, 
So I only made two of these, but I think it really honestly would depend on how big your mold is. These ones are quite deep. So for today, I'm just gonna make two. I only bought one lemon for this, but I think they're gonna be fabulous, so we'll see. So let me clean up my bowl and then we'll make the lavender ones. I'm definitely gonna need to make more of these. I think this is gonna be a hit. That hardened up so much faster than I expected. That reminds me of how, how hard, uh, fast the peanut brittle uh, hardened up on me at Christmas. <laughs> okay, I just wanna make sure there's no bubbles. No, they look good. Okay. Let me go in, clean up the bowl, and then we'll start on the lavender one. Okay, I got it cleaned out fairly good, so let's do another batch. <laughs> so this one, the scoop is about a quarter of a cup, so I'm just gonna do the scoop. I think I'm going to attempt to do a double batch of lavender. We'll see. I'm a little nervous about it just because of how fast that set up but we're gonna attempt it. So that was half a cup, because I'm gonna double the recipe. So I need about a whole cup of the shea butter soap base. This is so, so hard. So it says to store these in a dry place with no moisture. I'm assuming that's so they stay nice and hard. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. That's harder than ice cream. filling in the gaps in the bottom here. <sighs> the workout, okay. I'm not a professional at this, please keep that in mind. This is just something fun I decided to do today. I do think with how fast um, the bars started hardening up, they will be set pretty, pretty nicely within two hours. Okay, I think that's about a cup. Okay, I'm gonna go melt this and then we will do the lavender ones. Okay, let me just finish melting a little bit of soap base that's here. Okay, so let's add, I bought a red and a blue. I'm gonna add a drop of each to try and make the color maybe like a mauve color or like a lavender. We'll see how much this does. Oh, that's very blue. Let's add a little bit more red. That's <laughs> still very blue. <laughs> There we go, I think that's a little bit more purple looking. See if you can see that on camera. Maybe I should make it a little bit darker. Let's make it a little bit darker. And There 
we go. That's a little better. Okay. Now let's stick some lavender essential oil in. Let's see. Mix that up and see how it smells. Needs more. <laughs> I do like things to be quite scented. So we'll see here. Hmm, it's getting there. The lemon I think had help from the lemon zest. So we're just gonna put a little bit more on this one. probably at least 50 drops it's a lot better okay okay let me get my mold so I'm ready because this is gonna be fast I'm going to try and pour this while it's still quite liquidy but we will see <laughs> okay so I doubled the recipe so I need two cups of sugar I'm a little nervous about this, we'll see. I think if I do it fast enough, it should be okay. I'm going to try, because it's already setting up, I'm gonna try melting this in the microwave just a little bit more. See if that helps. Just give me one sec. Okay, melting it didn't really work that well, so we're just gonna try and shove it in <laughs> as fast as I can here. So the trick to this, I think, is to do this really quickly. Oh yes. It did help a little bit putting it in the microwave, but not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> I'm gonna do this with my hands. I think it's faster. It smells so good. Oh yes, hands is way better. These are nice and grainy too from the sugar. I think these are going to be a hit with my daughter. When I make these again, I think I'm going to add a coarser sugar or maybe even Epsom salt. I think it'll add a bit of a more coarse texture to the soap. Next time I make these, I'll probably make double the lemon. But for this time, we got double the, the lavender. I'm pushing it down to make sure it gets right into the corners. And so it pushes it right into the leaf uh, embossing that's on the front. Let's see. Eh, it's a little grainy. Let's try pushing it down a little harder. We'll see how these turn out. <laughs> Let's see. See if you can see here, there's some spots right here. Try and push it down a bit. Make sure it gets into all the corners. Okay, I think that's the, as good as I'm gonna get it for now. I'm going to let these harden for a couple hours. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then we will take them out of the mold together and see how well they did. I think the lemon ones are gonna turn out a little better than the than the lavender, just because this was a little bit more liquidy, but I think they're still gonna be great. So we'll, we'll see how they come out and we'll do that together. Just give you guys a little close up. See how it's a little bit not quite stuck together here. That's the part I'm, I think might look a little greeny. See right here, but we'll see how they turn out. And this one has a little bit of it, but not really. We'll see how they hold up. Okay, 
I think it's time to take these out. They've been just over an hour and a half they've been setting. So let's try and pop them out. They feel really hard, so I think they're ready. We'll do one here and figure, hope, hopefully it's set enough. Oh, that's really pretty. Not sure if you can see that. Let me give you a close up. It's got like a really nice leaf design on it. You can see the lemon zest in it. Looks nice. I'm just going to put them on the plate here. Let's depot the rest. It actually didn't take very long for them to set at all and they're nice and hard. These are the ones that I was nervous about. Yeah, a little bit right here, but I think they'll still suit the purpose that I wanted them for. If I was gonna make these for gifts, I think I would make sure the mixture was a little bit more liquidy like it was in the first batch. Then I probably would avoid this part here. So if I make them again, I'm gonna make sure the liquid um, the mixture is a little bit more liquidy. It's not too bad. I had a feeling it was going to look like that. Just because the mixture had already started to set. Take, it's coming out really easily out of the mold. But I think these will be perfect. They're, they're held together really well. Okay, so to store them, it says to store them in an airtight container. But I think what I'm going to do is put parchment paper and I think I'm going to, let's see here, I think I'm just going to wrap them in parchment paper and then I think I'm just going to store them in like a jar and we can take one out when they're needed. Okay, let me cut the rest of the paper that we need and then we'll start uh, wrapping them up. Okay, so I print, I cut out the papers we needed here for the parchment paper. I have some embroidery thread here. I don't have any ribbon or anything like that. So I figured embroidery thread would work nicely. Okay, so all I'm gonna do These aren't for gifts, so I'm not too worried about them being overly pretty. <laughs> if they were gifts, I would fold these really, really nicely. These are scissors that I use for when I sew things. <laughs> cut my strings. Okay, so I've been trying to find tape that you can use with parchment paper and I looked it up and there isn't any. So <laughs> nothing sticks to parchment paper. So that is why we're going to use string. Oh. So I'm just tying the ends in here. Flip it over. And I'm just doing this to keep it nice and tight and closed and clean more than anything. I think if I was to give these as gifts, I would probably go buy some ribbon to make it look really pretty. But this is literally just to keep them together. There we go. adjust that a little bit and then I'm going to store these in a jar and I think they're good so there we go so I'll package the rest of these off camera and then um, I'll show you the rest when they're done okay so I decided to only package up four of them I'm going to give this one to my daughter right away and I'll probably use this one right away uh, so yeah this is what they look like they're all nice and packaged 
I think that'll keep the moisture out of them for a bit if I put them in a jar. I will keep you guys posted on how the sugar bars work. Um, I'm actually going to take a bath tonight and I'm going to try one and maybe in the upcoming videos uh, I'll let you know how they worked. So I hope you guys try them. So that's it for today's video guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.